Good morning fellow beardsmen and other interested parties. Welcome to the Great Yeard Challenge. I'm Ray Wiseman, also known as Earl Greybeard. So welcome to the village of Bramcote on this lovely sunny day. So this is the year challenge where I grow my beard for an entire year. Today we're going to be looking at style aims and beard growing objectives. I don't know whether you've ever worked in industry. Uh, I used to be in IT myself, retired last year. And my last job was with an American company called Tibco based out of Palo Alto in California. Good company. But you'll find with all these big companies they tend to have a human resources department that wish you to set objectives and milestones. And they must be measurable objectives. Um, now, of course, they don't have to bear any resemblance to what you're actually doing. They just have to be measurable. That was my experience. So you can tick all the boxes and just carry on with producing what you were producing before. Maybe I'm a bit cynical. When it comes to beard growing though, an objective is a good thing. It's easy because the beards have length and you have an amount of time that you're growing them. They also have style, which is perhaps more subjective. But on the objective front, there are objectives you can set, and that's useful because it means that you've got something to aim for uh, and you've got something to keep you motivated. You can have a big celebration every time you hit an objective. Let's begin with style then. Obviously, I have a particular style in mind, but nevertheless, that's not specially helpful because I've no idea at this stage how my beard's going to turn out. At the moment it's looking surprisingly straight. I didn't really expect that and, and reasonably lush. I'm quite pleased with it. It's at the ugly duckling stage, agreed, but nevertheless I'm not unimpressed with the growth. What am I looking for? I like smart. I like pocket watches, waistcoats, that kind of thing. Uh, and so I want my beard to at least look as if there's an attempt at smartness. So what I'm looking for is having it well chiselled at the top here, uh, but naturally growing down here. So having cut-ins maybe around the cheek here, um, having the moustache at least neat, even if it's a full moustache, and perhaps at least to start with, to have some trim around the neck until the beard covers that area. Here are some people that, uh, here's some pictures of people that have done those kinds of things. Here's the Beard Baron, for example. Really like that style. He's got a nice straight uh, sideburn there, nice and cut in, and it suddenly flourishes out into this great bushy beard. So it looks like he's made an attempt, but he's still got the natural look. This is the, uh, the Sultan of Silver. This is the man himself, and as you can see, he's gone for a very, very natural looking growth, which is not quite my thing, I don't think. It looks lovely, but I want something that's a bit smarter. But he has trimmed his moustache, I think mainly for eating reasons. I did ask him why he'd done that, and he said it's something to do with beer and chicken wings. And then here's Eric Bandholtz. Uh, and his beard looks absolutely fabulous. It looks great on him, but I don't think it would suit me. It looks impressive, but it just looks that little bit too scruffy for me. I'm getting a bit old for scruffy, really. So style objectives, I think it's good to know what you're aiming for, particularly when you're going to the barbers to have your beard trimmed. You can say to them, well, look, this is how far I've got, but this is what I'm aiming for, and that will give them some idea of how to trim you up. How about length and time objectives? Well, my first time objective will to be to have my beard long enough to have it trimmed at the barbers. I'm aiming at one month from now. That's on the 11th of April, just before Easter. I've already booked the appointment so I can get that edging done and at least tidy it up a bit so it looks like I'm not just a complete scruff bag. I've got an idea in mind of where this thing is going. And then, uh, after three months, if I've still survived that long, I uh, aim to reward myself with joining the British Beard Club. And I'll be reporting back on, uh, on what those people are like. I'm sure that'll be a, a good thing to investigate. On the length side, um, the, uh, the Sultan of Silver, he likes to use the buttons on his shirt as length objectives. So, um, my first length objective will be to get the beard to grow as far as my top shirt button with the button done up. 
that's quite a way down that'll take me a little bit of a while but uh, that'll be a point of celebration and after that then it's button by button the second button the third button and by then we should be at the end of that one year when uh, I'm going to review whether I carry on or stop there and trim up and, and keep it that way so you need objectives I've got some set maybe you can put some of your ideas in the comments down below about what you've done or some ideas that you have that I could try Okay, so we're nearly done, so while we're here, let's have a bit of a, a, a review of progress so far. So as you can see, the, the beard has entered this very kind of um, ugly duckling scruffy stage. Growth's reasonably impressive. Uh, you can particularly tell around the moustache and the side cheeks. Around the, the, the bottom of the beard here, it doesn't look like it's grown that much, but it's got very thick and the, the hair is curling under. So it's not doing much in length, but it is doing quite a lot in thickness. So happy so far, but be glad when it's, it's long enough to look a bit more like a beard. So that's it for this episode. I hope you like my new branding, by the way, the Earl Grey beard symbol. I didn't do the drawings incidentally, I put an acknowledgement there on who did those, so you can, uh, you can tell where to get them from, but I did put the design together, and I did the monocle. <laughs> okay, see you next time everybody, this is Ray Wiseman, the old, uh, old Greybeard, signing off from the Yeard Challenge.